Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and welcome back to another episode of War on the Sea. So, trying to remember a quick recap, because it's been a minute since I got a video out, and I've missed y'all, I have, I really have, but I uh, just got a little busy, so I wasn't able to make as many videos as I had uh, wanted to over the week. So, recap on what we were doing. We have 6,200 troops on Guadalcanal with 8,800 supplies. I'm hoping we're gonna take that. I mean, I, I, we're just gonna try and defend this area, and hopefully, slowly but surely, they start to take it over. We did lose Milne Bay to the IJN, so we have to come up with a plan to take that back because next will probably be Port Moresby, and we just can't have that. But I've been focusing so much on Guadalcanal, because uh, that's the victory condition, right? We gotta get Guadalcanal and build an airfield. Those are the victory conditions, but now that it's kind of secure at, looks like about 80%, maybe on the next, uh, I don't know, the next amount of troops, oh my gosh, they they just arrived, 2,000 troops. Maybe we can go and start kicking some ass, maybe go take like Florida Islands or even head over to Milne Bay and retake that while we can. I don't know, now, now I'm not too sure. I don't, want, I don't know if I wanna take 2,000 troops all the way over there because that's it, we only have 2,000. I feel like we should just beef up Guadalcanal again with those 2,000 troops, and then once we take that, we can focus on everything else. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I have Task Force 2 that was heading, oh, it looks like Task Force 10 has encountered something. Magically, I'm sure they've encountered a uh, submarine, of course, so we'll have to figure that out. Have you got any supplies? So 320, yes you do, my god. And we manage cargo and offload. Show me love. Yes, we can. Hell yes. Offload all of this prior to going into that combat and then we're gonna have uh, task force 2 head back we're gonna have them head back to the main base and they're gonna pick up those troops because uh, yeah we need those guys all right well our first little uh, first little taste of uh, combat here where there he is I already see him right here little son of a bitch all right it doesn't look like they're gonna hit us at all they were trying to go for the destroyer that's okay they are not gonna make it, but there he is right there. I don't know if you guys can see the outline. Well, let's get the Radford here ready. We're going right at him. We're sinking him. It's over. All right, here we are. Right above him. Just gotta get our bow to him and we are ready to rock and roll. All right, let's get some uh, depth charges down there. Just start getting him uncomfortable. Maybe hit those propellers and stop it dead in its tracks. Oh yeah, that was right on top of it. Good hit, good hit. Solid hits right there. I like it. And there we have it. Just like that. Type B mod 1 sinking. Alright, let's retreat on out of here while we can. Confirm. We lost nothing, gained six command points, which is good because we need them. We have 141 command points and I would like to get a carrier group going. Gosh, it pisses me off about Milne Bay. The whole campaign, I, I mean, like I said, I think I said this like, like two videos ago. I have been so piss poor about protecting this. So in the next campaign, I, uh, well, if I ever play the USN again, because I want to play the IJN next, but the next one, if I play the USN again, I know, get a task force down here because we have Cooktown where we can actually resupply and all that stuff, so need to pay attention. But anyways, that's a victory. Let's go ahead and get Task Force 10 heading right on back to base. We have a uh, Task Force 2 heading back there to pick up stuff and now we have this Task Force coming to drop off some vital fuel that we're gonna need. Can we actually upgrade yet? We can't. Soon though, as soon as uh, this supply Task Force gets there, we'll be able to finally upgrade that port. All right, so it looks like uh, Task Force 14 has encountered a submarine. Gosh, they are not giving up on these submarines, are they? Let me along. Everybody. Radar. And start turning in somewhere, because I have no idea where these are coming from. And that's the scary part. Come on, where are they? That it right there? Maybe that's it right there. I don't know, though. I can't confirm. Rough seas always makes it hard to actually see the torpedoes. Oh, shit. There they are. 
Yep, always makes it hard to see him. Damn it! No! All right, we're gonna take some. Uh, we're gonna take some torpedoes here. There we go. Damn it! Good hits. Good hits. Minneapolis struck by three torpedoes. Four torpedoes. God bless it. Ah, oh, she was also going like ten goddamn knots. Oh yeah, she's uh, she is not looking good. Report critical and critical. Uh, as sad as it is to say, I think the IGN bested us on this one, and they are going to sink the Minneapolis. The best thing we can do is try and whip around and uh, see if we can't find that. Try and sink it. The Minneapolis is sinking. Four torpedoes. God, that pisses me off. All right, I've driven around, but can't find it. Oh, my gosh. We'll have to just confirm and leave. Minneapolis sunk. Oh, those rough seas and at night. Damn it. There was nothing I really could do anyways. There was really nothing I could do. All right, well, the IJN won that one. Not denying it. Good on them. I'd like to get a little task force up to the Shortland Island here and uh, knock one of these down. Either the airfield or the... I'm thinking probably the airfield. More so than the port. I don't really care if they get ships back here to go and resupply. But I don't want that airfield up. All right, Task Force 2 has arrived back at the main base. Let's go ahead and manage cargo. Let's see what we can get here. So everything, let's get troops. We need lots of them. As many troops as we can get. Guadalcanal, 8,800 supplies and 6,200 troops. Let's get them up there and go help the gentlemen out at Guadalcanal. All right, Task Force 2, you have your mission. Get up there. All right, it looks like the Growler has encountered another merchant vessel. And boy, I think these... This group is trying to go around and head over to Port Moresby. I really strongly believe that. All right, Growler. Good work. And I can't see a goddamn thing. Where are they? There they are. At least it says that's where they are. I can't see anything, though. All right, what are we trying to sink here? We've got heavy cruisers, and then we've got merchant ships. And I think I'd much rather get the merchant ships rather than, like, heavy cruisers or anything like that. And then we'll have to have the B-17s go and try, try and give these guys uh, a little bit of hell. Okay, so plan of action. We're going to try and do what we did uh, the last time when we tried to hit multiple ships at once. We are going to attack the... I think we're going to have to attack number seven first once it's within a good solution range. And then we're going to have to attack number five. I'm going to send three torpedoes each for each ship. So hopefully we can knock out two of these uh, suppliers. But that's the plan of action. I just need to wait for my solution to get a little better. All right, so I think our solution is about as good as it's going to get. It's right around 48 to 45 percent. I got to go with it. So first course, uh, targeting number eight. Let's go ahead and fire three torpedoes. There we go. Stop and go ahead and target number six. Come on, get that solution up. 21. As soon as it gets to 40, we can go. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Get up there, get up there. 48%, 51%. I like it. Fire. Let's go ahead and get the Growler the hell out of Dodge. You can go ahead and dive, good sir, and go silent. All right, moment of truth. We'll see if these are good. Number eight is the one that has to get hit first, and then number six after, but I don't know. We'll see how, uh, how the timing went on this. I think it took a little, I think I was a little too far. Maybe I should have went for number 10 first and then number six. I think because I went for six and eight being so close together, he'll get hit first and then number six will just dodge out of the way. But these are gonna be hits right here, 100%. But are they all gonna be uh, exploding or are they all gonna be duds? Look at that, hell yeah. Oh my gosh. American torpedoes. How could they be so shitty? Absolutely embarrassing. These are going to be hits. Yes. Dud. Explosion. Explosion. Wow. So we had a 50% explosion ratio there. Three duds and three exploded. God, that is embarrassing. Absolutely ridiculous. But it is what it is. Let's go ahead and uh, report. 
Heavy and heavy for number six and moderate and moderate for number eight with the one explosion. I don't think it's gonna get much better than that. I certainly hope it will, but I don't foresee it happening. All right, not too bad. Even though it was heavy and heavy, uh, number six, one of the Kamigawas is sinking. There we go. So that's one merchant ship done. Great bloody work. Let's go ahead and leave and confirm before those destroyers start to find us. So one sunk for five command points. I will happily accept that. So how's everybody been? As I said, it's been quite a minute since I was able to get uh, videos out to you, ladies and gentlemen, and I apologize for that. Just had to, uh, you know, work. Life. You know how it all goes. So I'm hoping to be able to, hello, a grouper. <gasps> oh, really? Oh no, the merchant ships were going to Milne Bay to resupply, of course. We have 407 troops still hanging on, fighting bravely. Let's go ahead and, uh, there we go. All right, I'll take that. Let's try and sink these guys. All right, we're doing this. We have a 43% solution rate, which is not the greatest, but you know what? We need to uh, we need to make it work, so... Go ahead and fire three spread. There you go. Those are out, right? Stop targeting that one. Target this one. And then we have a 51% for that one. Fire. And let's get the hell out of Dodge. All we need to do is sink both of them. I'd say sink one, but, you know, I, I want both. I'm being greedy right now. Oh yeah, those are looking good. These are going to be hits. Will they be explosions though is another question. Survey says... Yes! Dud! Dud! Of course! Of course! These are also going to be hits. Oh, but he's speeding up though. He's speeding up. I don't know. They might not hit actually. Come on, get over there. Yes! Two. Oh my gosh, two and a dud. You're killing me, Smalls, you're killing me. All right, let's see the report. Heavy and heavy for both. Let's hope that is enough to wipe out these supply ships. As much as it pains me to say it, none of them sank. And I have waited and waited. I don't want this grouper to get spotted by these destroyers though, so I gotta leave. Gosh, that is so annoying. How many times can you guys hear me complain about American torpedoes in this game? They are utter shit. I mean, they suck ass. I had no idea prior to starting this game that in World War II, American torpedoes were that shitty. I, I had no idea. It took me playing this game to learn that knowledge about American torpedoes. And uh, wow, incredible. Okay, so this uh, task force has arrived. Let's offload everything we have. Engineering. Fuel, fuel, and more supplies. Anything else? Nothing else. Get you on a course back home. And now, remarkably, we can upgrade the port. And there it is. We have a tier three port, ladies and gentlemen. Hell yes. That's one victory in my book right there. We just got to defend this to the very end. Come on, Task Force 2, get up there. So how has everybody else's games been going? What have you guys been playing? Let me know. I gotta know, because I am curious. So I'm, other games that I'm thinking of playing. Obviously the Steam sale is going on and I picked up the Il2 Strumovic and I am highly considering making like a campaign-esque style game, like story driven. I'll make up my own kind of story and go through that for like, uh, you know, either on the Russian or German side. I'm not too sure yet, but I'm thinking of doing that. What do you guys think of that idea? Because I like it. I think it could be really fun. So this is just a curious question. I don't want to. I mean, I will if I have to, but I'm not really looking for it. I haven't seen any uh, enemy task force groups this round, which is very odd, as you all know, because usually we're uh, we're encountering these guys left, right, and center. But I haven't encountered any this round. It's just been submarines, 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 and more submarines. So I'm, I'm wondering, what do you guys think? Comment down below. Let me know what you think. Once we take Guadalcanal, should we shoot over to the Florida Islands and then? Uh, this uh, island right here, or should we focus more, I guess, what would this be, northwestwardly towards these islands and work our way towards the Shortland Islands? I don't know. You guys let me know what you think. I was kind of favoring the idea of going from Guadalcanal right over to the Florida Islands because it's right next door, so it'll be easy and fast, super fast, to ferry troops from Guadalcanal across. How are we doing overall, though? We have 6,000 troops, 
8,000 supplies, 8,500 supplies, just a little under. We're still right at around 80%, which is not good enough. I want more. I want more. Just as I was saying, we haven't encountered any enemy task force, which is amazing. Uh, here we are. We've encountered enemy task force. Task force 13 has encountered uh, three light cruisers and three destroyers. I wonder if we have the greenling. Can, uh, can the greenling see him or is it too far away? I don't know. Let's go see what the greenling can see. All right, the greenling can't see shit. Oh no, the greenling can't see something. Oh. They are traveling the complete opposite direction, which is not gonna do us any good. All right, so it wasn't worth it. We didn't find it. However, uh, we encountered them again, and this time they are actually even closer to Task Force 13. So let's go ahead and begin. I think we're gonna be right on them, actually. Yeah, we are. Holy shit. Right on top of them. Take them out, gentlemen. This is the excitement we've been waiting for. Oh my god, look at the explosions. I love it. Love it. While I'm identifying all these guys as fast as I can for them. I'm not even going for accuracy and identification. Oh, there's another explosion on this poor destroyer. <laughs> look at it. Death and destruction. Good bloody work, gentlemen. Look at all the rounds landing around these guys. Holy shit. I love it. Mahan, you're also getting freaking messed up, though. Oh, there's a big explosion right here. That's what we like to see. Can we lay smoke right here? We can. Let's go ahead and lay smoke on the uh, Chester. All right, we're going to have him form up again here. Get him in some lines. Oh, my gosh. Disgusting. What's the report? We haven't checked that yet. Critical and critical for the uh, Kuma. I haven't uh, properly identified it. Heavy and moderate for the second Kuma. And heavy and moderate for the Yugamo. Uh, yeah. We're doing great work so far. Just got to make... Uh, there we go. One Kuma sinking. Love it. Now they all start focusing down the second one. We got the smoke going, which is going to really help us. We're so close to this Kuma too now. Just absolutely death and destruction. Look at it. God, that worked out actually trying to... Oh, yeah. i love to see it. It really worked out going into that tactical view with that submarine to see if we couldn't get some hits. Because the second go around, these guys spawned right next to us. Absolutely getting pummeled with secondary fire. Here's the... Uh... Oh, yeah. Absolutely disgusting. There it is. Heavily listing. Explosions left, right, and center. Getting absolutely pummeled. Let's take this task force out. What were you guys thinking? Going up against us. Yes. Beautiful. Big explosion on this destroyer. Hello. And it's it's turning, but... God, it's just... Explosions left, right, and center from the secondary fire. And there it is. Yugamo is officially sinking. Oh, you love to see it. You just love to see it. Next, they'll probably go after this Kumo, but I think what we're going to do is we are going to order a ceasefire. Go ahead and retreat out of here. Oh, we can retreat right now. That's a victory in my books. We got 19 command points out of that, sunk three of their ships. They have one light cruiser left and two destroyers, and they are running for the hills. That is it for them. And Task Force 2 is just in time to arrive at Guadalcanal. Oh, yes. Manage cargo, drop off everything. Get those troops, which are much needed, onto the island and the supplies. Get in there and give them hell, gentlemen. Great bloody work. Guadalcanal, we are up at about 85% now. 10,000 supplies, 7,600 troops. Task Force 2, go ahead and head right on back to the main base. We're going to need it. Oh, it's so nice that we can rearm ships now at Rennell Island. Hell yes. So we've got new troops here. We've got Rennell Island upgraded. We lost Milne Bay, which is a damned shame. I am still, uh, I got to figure out what to do here. We have 177 command points now, but we can, we could make a strong carrier group with 177 command points. If I was to build a carrier group to take over protection of Rennell Island, and then send Task Force 9, which is a pretty beefy task force by any means, and send them over to Milne Bay to kind of protect and watch it. That could be a good plan right there. I like that. I might do that. We still need more task force just in general, but so far we're doing pretty well. We got Guadalcanal almost secure. God, it is a long, hard fight. Can't believe how long it's taken to actually take it over, especially with 85%. How slow does it progress? If anyone's played, 
and you have won and taken over Guadalcanal. Just, I'm not trying to get any spoilers. I want to keep it a surprise, but will it just stay at 85% or as time goes on, does it gradually progress? If I was, to, no more troops, no more supplies. If I was just to leave it as it is right now, would it slowly progress and take over? Or is it just kind of like a, you have to dump more troops, more supplies in until the bar ticks over and that's how you get it. Because in my mind, I kind of think, I thought it was like, even though we don't see it, they're slowly progressing. There's going to be some progression throughout the months. But like I said, I don't know. If anyone's played and you guys know the answer, please let me know. I'd love to. But anyways, I think that's going to have to do it for this episode. You know, we were bombarded by those submarines. And uh, that kind of, that was a shame. We lost the Minneapolis, which was a real shame. But hey, great salvo from that IJN submarine. I can't, uh, I can't bash it for it. That's exactly why it's really nice to attack in those rough seas. We were able to get Rennell Island up to a port rank 3, which is going to really help in the war effort. And we just dropped off 2,000 more troops. Well, almost 2,000. About 1,750 more troops at Guadalcanal with more supplies. So we're, uh, we're slowly getting there. We didn't make it by the uh, episode that I wanted to, obviously, to take Guadalcanal. But that's okay. Great work on everybody. Love all the support you guys have been giving. Thank you so much. Uh, I've missed y'all. I'm really happy to finally get some videos out for you guys. And like I said, I'm thinking of doing that Ill2 Strumovic campaign-esque uh, style series. Let me know what you guys think about that. And there's a few more games coming out. February is a month of games. We have so many. We've got Elden Ring. We have Warhammer 3. We've got Dying Light 2. I mean, the list goes on and on with how many games are coming out this month. So I am going to try and get series going on all of those games. Uh, bring out the entertainment and continue it for everybody. But in the meantime, thank you guys so much for everything. Please comment down below. Let me know what you guys thought of this video. If you liked the video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. And uh, if you want to see more videos like this coming out very soon and more series coming out very soon, please consider subscribing. Until next time, I'm going to get back at it and start trying to secure Guadalcanal. You guys take it easy. Thank you so much for everything, all the support, and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day, everybody.